Hi, and welcome to this presentation as part of the AOSCX 10.10 .10 update. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about the user based tunneling silent device enhancement that has been implemented into AOSCX. So basically, this feature allows tunnels, user based tunnels, to stay up or initiated for devices that might not be very chatty and go silent. They may not send out any packets. Uh, we've had some customers that have had kind of uh, some industrial type devices that are extremely uh, non-chatty and don't send out much at all. So once the device is authenticated, uh, what happens is that there are VLANs both on the switch and the gateway that are configured as quote unquote silent VLAN, silent device VLANs, and packets are the the tunnels are up as long as those devices are authenticated to those VLANs the tunnels stay up and so these silent devices are able to stay up because what would happen is that if there's no packets going across these devices the tunnel would be torn down and the device would be deauthenticated so silent VLANs need to be configured at both switch and gateway the VLANs are then registered with the switch anchor gateway once the tunneling infrastructure is turned on it's sent uh, over the control plane to the gateway. Um, so in what really happens are that broadcast packets for these silent VLANs are sent via the multicast tunnel uh, between the switch and gateway. So with that being said, the silent VLAN device, silent device VLAN support is only supported in VLAN extend mode or UBT 1.0. Um, but it is supported with multi-zone. Uh, you can have up to 100 silent client VLANs per zone. Uh, then you'll just be going into the user-based tunneling scaling um, parameters once uh, if you're worried about scale. So I think we're up to about 1,000 uh, tunnels total per switch or stack. So this feature is supported on the 6400, 6300, 6200, and 4100i platforms. So this is pretty easy to configure. Basically, it's a new command under the UBT zone context. So basically, you go into the UBT zone context, and we use the WOL-enable command, which is wake on LAN enable uh, VLAN. So you put your list of VLANs. As we see here in my example, I have VLANs 15 and 25 configured. You also want to make sure those VLANs are configured on the gateway which uh, most cases you need to anyways, um, if, you're, if you're going to be tunneling, doing user-based tunneling. Uh, VLANs typically have to exist on the gateway unless you're using uh, downloadable roles. Uh, once these clients are authenticated and go silent, they'll then stay in a uh, tunneled state. So let's take a look at a quick demo on how this works. So let's take a look at how this works for uh, UBT silent devices. Um, so here I have my setup. Um, I have have some clients that I'm simulating with a traffic generator, and I've stopped traffic, so there's no talking going on, no packets with the clients uh, since I've stopped all traffic and pings between them. Um, and so before we get into that, just keep that in the back of uh, your minds. Um, let me do a show running configuration so I, we can see what this looks like. So here is my zone configuration. Here is my silent VLAN configuration. So I have VLANs 15 and 25. Uh, if I go back, well, I won't do it from this from my client screen, but what I will do is do a show UBT users all. And we can see I have um, users that are already, my users are still online, the tunnels are still activated. Uh, I can also do a show UBT state. And we can see that the VLANs that these users are using are both 15 and 25, like we have configured. Uh, we can do a show UBT and it will show us the wake on land enabled VLANs for that. So going back to the show UBT users all. I have no traffic on these clients. Uh, usually about after five or ten minutes, uh, the tunnels are torn down. These have actually been um, silent, quote unquote silent, for 
probably about 20 minutes, 30 minutes now, and they're still online. So that's how the silent device works, silent device VLANs work. Um, there's heartbeats still going back and forth between the switch and the gateway over the multicast tunnel, which is why we have to use the VLAN extend mode, because VLAN extend mode, we have the multicast tunnel with um, local VLAN mode or the reserve VLAN mode. All broadcast packets are sent uh, upstream via broadcast or multicast and then sent back. They're converted at the gateway and then sent back to the devices as unicast. So that's why we need to use 1.0, because that keeps the multicast tunnel separate where all the, sw the replication, multicast, broadcast replication happens at the switch and then is sent over the separate multicast tunnel for all clients between the switch and the gateway. So this is showing it works. Pretty simple to set up. It's easy to use. Um, little simple way to prove that these uh, clients, silent clients still work uh, when there's no traffic through them. Thank you very much for tuning into this session. Any questions that you have, please reach out to the Aruba Switching TME team.